Everyone, it's Pastor Justin here coming to give you a preview of this Sunday. This Sunday, we are ending our sermon series that we've been in for the last several weeks where we have been discovering what does it mean to cultivate a thriving faith community? What does it mean to orient ourselves around vibrancy and thriving and flourishing and abundance and bounty rather than scarcity and close offness and survival? We're going to be talking about radical hospitality this Sunday. Radical hospitality. What does it mean to have a radical welcome, a radical sense of bringing people in, a radical sense of serving others and saying, come and be a, be a part of my life. I want to share my life with you. And for that, we are coming to the parable of the feeding, not the parable, the story of the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus has thousands of people who have come out to him in the midst of the wilderness. And the disciples go, hey, Jesus, you need to let the people go. They're going to be hungry. They need to go into the towns and the villages and find food and all those kinds of things. Really, it's the disciples saying, not my problem. Jesus, let's let them go so it doesn't become our problem. And Jesus goes, no, 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 no. Have them all sit down. Have all of them sit down. And the disciples are like, Jesus, that's the opposite direction of where we were going with this. You need to let these people go, release them. Otherwise, we're about to have a full-on riot on our hands. So Jesus goes, no, 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 no. Settle the crowd. Let them sit and Jesus goes, hey, uh, hey guys, uh, what food do we have? And the disciples turn to a little boy and his lunch. Can you imagine these men grabbing this little boy in the first century and going, hey, hey kid, give me your lunch right here. Uh, the teacher, you know, Jesus, God, he needs some food, right? And they grab this lunch from the kid and he's got some loaves of bread and a few fish, right? And Jesus takes it blesses it, puts it in some baskets, and tells the disciples, pass it around. <sighs> Friends, this is the gift of hospitality. This is the gift of creating a community that is hospitable rather than hostile to one another, that is cooperative and connecting rather than competitive. Because as those baskets go around, there's lots and lots of kids and adults with a lunch. And as they're passing their food around, friends, everyone is fed. Everyone is fed. And in fact, when those baskets come back around, they are overflowing with food. There was so much food in and among the people. There was so much abundance in the midst of a group of people who were full of anxiety, fear, and scarcity. There was so much resources out there that God had already put into humanity, but they did not see it. They could not grasp it. In fact, they were clasping on and going, I cannot allow my stuff to go to someone else because then I will starve. But instead, Jesus was saying, no, we're going to pray over it. We're going to bless it. We're going to scatter it. And guess what? In that, there is abundance. There is more than enough when we create spaces and communities of hospitality rather than hostility and hate. Friends, I can't wait to see you this Sunday. This is one of my favorite stories in all of Scripture. Would love, love, love to expound it for you and your life. See you on Sunday.